Welcome to the video tutorials of the book Methods, Evaluation and Research in Education by Muhammad Attaruzzaman and today we are going to learn how to do multiple regression in SPSS. In tutorial 20 you have been seen the simple regression. However, if the prediction of a variable is made on the basis of more than one variable it can be termed as multiple regression and its general equation is y equal to a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 and so on till a n x n plus b where x1 x2 till x n are the predictors and a1 a2 till a n and b are the constants multiple regression analysis is widely used for explaining variation in market share sales brand preference and other marketing results for example can variation in sales be explained in terms of variation in advertisement expenditures prices and distribution no idea let's go through an example a researcher wants to predict the achievement score based on the IQ score of a group of 14 students and their hard work in terms of study period in hours the achievement score, IQ score, and hard work in terms of hours are kept in a file called regression. Considering this scenario, now we're going to formulate the regression equation and predict the achievement score based on the IQ test result of a student and his hard work. Let's see the SPSS data editor window at the screen. Now, go to file, then open data, and then data file under SPSS evaluation folder and open the file regression in the SPSS data editor. Just click it. The file is shown in SPSS editor in the data view. Let's check the variable view of the data. There are three variables, achievement, IQ, and hard work, which are of numeric type and scale measure. Go back to the data view of the SPSS data editor. You see the variables at the top of each column. See the score of 14 students for achievement test and IQ and also hard work in terms of study period in hour. Now, go to the Analyze menu, then Regression, then Linear. Take the score of the examination in the dependent field and IQ score and study period in hours in the independent field. Now, Click Plots button and take the Z receipt, which is residual in Y, and Z print, which is prediction in X. Also select histogram and normal probability plot. Residual Z receipt is simply the difference between the actual value and the predicted value Z print. Click Continue and then press OK. See the output at the screen. The R value 0.975 indicates that a positive and strong relationship exists between IQ score, hard work in terms of study period in hours, and achievement of the student. It implies that if the IQ score of a student is good and he studies regularly, he or she will certainly do good in the achievement test. The adjusted R square value 0.942 indicates that 94.2 percentage of the variation in achievement can be explained by the variation in IQ score of a student and his hard work in terms of study period in hours. In SPSS interpretation, SIG value greater than 0 0.05 means acceptance of the null hypothesis and on the other hand, SIG value less than 0 0.05 means rejection of the null hypothesis. The details of it are described in chapter 10 of the book. The SIG value of regression is 0 0.000 at the ANOVA table is less than 0 0.05 which implies the null hypothesis which is the IQ score of a student and his hard work has no significant role to predict his achievement is rejected. That means Research hypothesis is accepted.
So, the IQ score of a student and his hard work has a significant role to predict the student performance. The value of constants B is 2.140, constant A1 for IQ score is 1.004 and constant A2 for study period in hours is 3.906 at the coefficients table. So, the regression equation stands y not equal to a1x1 plus a2x2 plus b, which is equal to 1.004x1 plus 3.906x2 plus 2.140. Now, using this equation, you can easily predict the achievement of any student based on his IQ score and hard work. However, the SIG value for constant B, 0 0.280, is greater than 0 0.05, which means the factors, which are the constants, excluding IQ score and hard work, have no significant role to predict the achievement score. Again, the SIG value of constant A1 in IQ score, 0 0.005, is less than 0 0.05, which means the IQ score has significant role to predict the student's achievement. And the SIG value of constant A2 in study period 0 0.000 is less than 0 0.05, which means the hard work has also significant role to predict the student's achievement. In case of residual, the histogram shows an ideal normal distribution. The normal PP plot shows all the points on the diagonal, which means the residuals are normally distributed. And the scatter plot shows no pattern confirming the linearity of the relationship. Hope you have understood the test multiple regression. Thank you for staying with us. It's Yasdani saying you goodbye.